Oh, well, praise the Lord Jesus who considers our lives a precious thing, precious enough to die for, precious enough to live for. Hi, Dr. Courtney, Jesus professor here. And now we're asking the question, are you a prodigal? With this question, I mean, have you made some beginning with Jesus and yet an honest assessment of your life would show you're not really following Jesus? Were you raised in a Christian home or perhaps brought to church by grandparents, friends, or relatives so that you had ample opportunity to know right from wrong and follow Jesus, but you decided not to follow or not to keep following? Have you prayed the sinner's prayer or maybe even gotten baptized, but you now realize that the character of your life fails to show an ongoing love of Jesus. Sure, there may have been complicating factors like overbearing religious people, religious hypocrites, and toxic church situations. I've been on both sides of those deals. If the Holy Spirit is convicting you now that you're a prodigal, I'm here today to call you back to follow Jesus. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. At the name of Jesus, every tongue confess. I'm not calling you back to Christian religion or to attend church. These are not essential components of following Jesus. Sure, a good church can be helpful if you can find one nearby, but Christ's yoke is easy and his burden is light. And finding a good church is often a heavy burden given the multitude of churches that are mediocre at best. But think back to your baptism. Think back to your upbringing. Think back to your intent when you resolve to follow Jesus on a previous occasion. As you do, what positive steps is the Holy Spirit prompting you to take? Odds are the Holy Spirit is prompting you to open up two-way communication with Jesus by reading or listening to the Bible. This is Jesus talking to you. The Holy Spirit is also inviting you to talk to Jesus in simple and practical ways through prayer. It's not religious. Just tell Jesus how you're feeling, what you're thinking, and what your cares are. Ask Jesus for his help and provision and guidance. Ask Jesus what he wants you to do differently to follow him better. Sit still in prayer, and you'll often find that Jesus is whispering to you. Odds are also good that the Holy Spirit is showing you some sins that took you off the narrow path that leads to life and put you on the broader road that leads to destruction. Is it pornography, marijuana, unmarried sex, love for the world, just wanting to be the king or the queen of your own life. Here's the deal. Come back and follow Jesus. Trust and surrender to Jesus. Get water baptized as a reenactment of his death, burial, and resurrection. Jesus has real power in baptism to put to death all of those prodigal sins and bring you up out of the water as a new creation, a new person. But here's the other side of the deal. God disciplines those he loves. The prodigal son Jesus describes in Luke 15 didn't turn around until he hit rock bottom. He was starving, feeding pigs on a farm and longing to fill his belly with the pig food. If you're already at rock bottom, come on back to Jesus. If you're not at rock bottom yet, save yourself the rest of the trip downward and turn back to Jesus now before it gets that bad. Jesus loves you 
And if you question whether he will or can accept you as you are, I declare to you today, today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Trust, surrender, and follow Jesus. Today can be the day you turn it around. Maybe you're not sure yet. That's okay too. If you're not ready to be a follower of Jesus, then do this for me. Take yourself off the path of being a prodigal and become a seeker of Jesus. In so far as you can, stop running after the things you know are evil. You won't be able to fully repent in your own power, but begin asking Jesus to show you and help you and make a path back home for you. Our Lord Jesus is slow to anger and rich in love. Praise the Lord Jesus. In your name I call the light to declare your victory. The resurrected King is resurrecting me. Hi. Suicide rates are rising rapidly. So most Jesus followers should prepare ourselves for a more active role in preventing suicides. We are on the front line since pros rarely get involved until a foot soldier helps connect people in crisis with trained professionals. E94.org is a Christian ministry dedicated to equipping the church to prevent suicide through free training of foot soldiers to prevent suicide through training, consulting, and resources. Get equipped to give hope and help and confidently refer people to professional counselors. Learn more at e94.org. Thank you.